Hello, this is video two of my series of how to self-install your cable box. This could apply to any communications provider. This example will be for Comcast, but this would work for Charter or Time Warner or any cable company really. So in the first video I showed you what was coming down from the, in my case, the master bedroom where there are a junction of cables. All those cables will feed this wall outlet here. This wall outlet is where your cable comes down to your TV area. And there may be a number of boxes here. In my case, there's a uh, speaker connection here the builder put in, but we're not going to bother with that. You want to find your cable connection here. And run your cable, which you'll get in your self-install kit from this outlet here. Just screw the cable in. and then run the cable to, in this case, it's a Comcast DVR box. So here we see the cable is coming into here. I have a uh, different cable coming in because in this case, we have a splitter. There's a small splitter here splitting the cable. So what you can see is, in my case, I used this splitter. So the cable's coming from the wall to this two-way splitter. One of the cables here is going to the DVR box, digital video recorder box that Comcast has, is renting us. The other cable is going to the Comcast internet and phone box, which you install back here. And so that's how you deal with that. So when you are putting in your DVR, you also need to put in your HDMI port. Here's the HDMI port right here, HDMI cable. You can just plug it into the HDMI port on the DVR and that will plug into a HDMI in. In this case, here's the HDMI in and this is on video one. And that's really all there is to it. Once you get that done, you'll turn on your DVR box It'll take time for the box to activate. And what you're going to have to do is call Comcast. And you'll have to tell them some numbers that show up on the screen. And then you can activate your DVR. So they make it quite difficult. You can't just plug in this DVR and use it. You have to call them and activate it. And once they send this thing an activation signal, then you're going to get your TV working. So this is the this is the X1 system, which is their newest system, which is really worth dealing with. Now you also might have your internet box at the location of your TV, but you don't have to. So you want to put this Wi-Fi internet box somewhere, maybe by your TV, maybe somewhere else. This box, in this case, um, is a Wi-Fi box. It'll do Wi-Fi. It also provides the phone connection. So to self-install this box, you have to give it cable. So there's the cable connection there. And you have to have Ethernet coming out of the box to your Wi-Fi. Oh, in, in my case, the, the, the Wi-Fi is in this box. This is going to a separate Raspberry Pi computer, which we don't need to worry about this connection here goes to your phone system so what you want to do is uh, plug your cordless phone connector into here into telephone one so then when you fire this box up it should work again you have to call Comcast and activate this box so they're gonna send an activation signal to this box you may or may not have to uh, use some of the numbers on the side there to get this thing working so that's about it. I'll go in how to configure this box, but when it's working, when it's up and running, you'll get a power light, you'll get this USDS light, you'll get an online light, 2.4 gigahertz for Wi-Fi and 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz for Wi-Fi on 5 gigahertz, which is good, and telephone one light should be active if, if your telephone's working. And you also have to activate your telephone separately. So there's really three calls to Comcast you're gonna make, one for the DVR, one for this internet box to get internet and one for the telephone. It's quite 
involved, many phone calls, and it takes probably four hours to get all this working or more because of the phone calls and all the messing around. But when this thing is installed, it works fantastic. This has been here for a year. I never have trouble with this box. I may have reset this box four or five times. When this thing jams up and your internet doesn't work, that maybe like once or twice, maybe like every one or two months, I'll simply unplug the power from this box and let it reset, and that will usually rectify any internet problems I have with this Comcast internet box. So that's about it. You also might want to get a satellite TV in here. So in this case, there is a satellite TV. There is another room in this home with another Comcast box. So Comcast will give you the smaller box here. And this is also a high def box. It's for a regular TV. So with this box, you basically have the same functionality as the DVR box. You can watch DVR movies from this box. And this box basically talks to the big DVR box. So you can watch any kind of movies recorded on the uh, other box with this little guy here. Same thing. Cable from the wall outlet goes to the back of this box. And then you want to have your, your HDMI connection here from this box going right to the TV. In this case, it's a Sony TV. And that's about it. Once this thing's all installed, it has its own remote, just like the DVR box. And you fire it up. So, hit the power button. And off you go. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And good luck with your self-install. You'll get through it. You can do it. Just have patience, and in no time, you'll be watching TV, just like me. Have a good day, and thanks again.